This is my 91st video. Wait, no. It's my 90th video. I get confused all the time. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be ranking all the, nin all the villains from Ninjago. And so, I'm ranking every single villain. So, I'm like going to ra rank the ma main villain. So, I'm like going to like, make it into like 25. So, yeah. And by the way, guys, um, this is completely my opinion. If you disagree, please don't dislike this video or unsubscribe. This is just my opinion and how I think. You guys can comment down below what you think in the, down in the comments below. And yeah, so basically, I'm gonna be just gonna be ranking them and why I um, why I rank them. So if, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will do another one of maybe the heroes or something. So yeah, and now on with ranking the villains. And by the way, this is only my opinion. Whack rats. This is at the bottom of my list because I think they're weird ugly and disgusting they're literally rats sorry if you like rats but i don't like them also they have a very minor and useless role season 12 would have been better without the whack rats the vermilion army i put this in the 24th spot because like the whack rats they're ugly gross and disgusting all they do is attack and listen to crux and aquatics they don't even speak i like characters that speak Sphira. I put a Sphira in the 23rd spot because she's super annoying. She's like, all I want is revenge. If you stop saying that and it's more common, she might have a better spot on my list. I Slumber. This character is, in my opinion, a very plain villain. Vex seems to be more of a villain than the Ice Emperor. All he does is sit on the throne and shoot eyes at his, his death. Plus, the ending of season 11 was horrible. Zane, aka the Ice Emperor, just heard the word protect and started to protect Lloyd. The Oni. This one is sadly higher than the others because it looked kind of cool. Except that it didn't talk often and it's not really funny. Season 10 wasn't the best season. Be evident. From 25 to 17 are my least favorites of all time, so it's kind of hard to decide the bottom 9. I put this in 20th place because it's really ugly, but I like the fact that the curse realm was inside the pyramid. This is kind of cool, but I also hate the ending when Garmin died. Samukai. I put Samukai in 19th place because in the very beginning, I liked the role he played. Except that he doesn't come back and no one talks about him anymore. Not a con. I really only liked season 6 because of the music and not a con. I put Nadakan in 18th place because I like his accent, but I feel like he was just too much power and didn't really come back. Also, in my opinion, season 6 was just a filler season. It's, it's number 17, The Great Devourer. And this one, we're on the borderline from horrible to baddish. So yeah, The Great Devourer. All those villains that just showed up once, I didn't really like. Because I feel like they're added to the story, and then not back while well, back in the story. This one is 17th place because I like how the legendary snake that made Gremlin evil was brought back. However, it just got killed and everything was happy again. Into the bad stuff now. That's mostly bad, but the worst, the ones from before were horrible. So this is technically a good thing. Number 16, the Awakened Garmadon. I personally hate this character. I was wondering if I should put this in the horrible list or not, but in 16th place, I put the Awakened Garmadon. The reason this is different from the OG Garmadon is that he was never happy, and he was kind of boring, and one of my least favorite characters. The reason he has Garmadon in his name bumps him up to the 16th place. The Necronics. Control time, control everything. I personally think that is true, because if you control time properly, and not stupidly that Necronics are in Necronics, then you should be the ruler. The mistake they did is to make them clumsy and not use time to their fullest advantage. I know the show would have been boring like that, but honestly, they shouldn't have added time as a power. I put Crux and Necronics in 15th place because I love their power, but I feel like they're just too powerful and just too stupid. The Stone Army. This is kind of a funny character because nothing could kill it, and it was also ch chasing Dareth, but they're very repetitive and not fun. That's why it's in 14th place. The Overlord. The Overlord, in my opinion, is a ripoff of the OG Garmadon because it's not really shown as a main villain like Garmadon. However, 
I like the talking, floating, purple thing that guy did Kagami. I like this character because he had a cool hairstyle thingy like Nauticon did. Except that I liked how he paused the game to Okino. However, the ending of season 12 was horrible! That's why he's in 12th place. We're on the border from good and bad. All Nindroids. These robots were a villain that was brought back in the series. I like that. That's why it's on the border of good and bad in my list. They're a good villain and they will never be forgotten. That's why they're in 11th place. Getting into the good stuff now. Iron Baron and the Dragon Hunters. Now we're getting into the good list. I know I just repeat myself, but yeah. I put Iron Baron and the Dragon Hunters in 10th place because I like how the Dragon Hunters betrayed Iron Baron, which I liked because he was so selfish and mean. The Yank. This ghost is funny in season 5 because he kept on haunting the ninja, ninja, but in Day of the Departed, he sacrificed himself so Cole could get through. I still class him as a villain though. Klaus. Your father doesn't believe in luck. This assistant to Master Chen was a funny one. He was also very funny the way he reacted to when Chen asked him for popcorn during the fight between Cole and Jay in the episode versus Moro. Boo! Here comes Moro. The ghost took over Lloyd's body. He was a very powerful villain and, and controlled the wind. I liked this character because he was strong and when Dave departed, he became good. The Mechanic This classic villain was fun. One of my favorite moments is that he was in season 6 when he fought with Zane in the Cryptarium prison. Rumi and the Sons of Garmadon Pretty much the only reason they're this high is because they look so cool. These ones were super fun to watch. And they're also on the border between good and favorites. You guys been expecting this. The Serpentine. Can you, can you guys just like sit down and remember all those nice memories? Anyways. In fourth place comes the Serpentine. These snake warriors were epic. They were stupid, funny, smart, and a good evil character. Unlike other characters, they had a good mixture of all qualities. This was super hard. The top three, you guys know. This is on the border from the best to my favorites. But number three is Captain Soto. I absolutely loved this character. Captain Soto was epic. I loved his accent and my favorite line he ever said was, and it's Jay, the whiny, sniveling, blue pajama man who says everything obvious. I was literally laughing the entire time during that line, and I still do. Guys, this was so so hard to decide, but in second place is Noodles! Master Chen. This has been one of the hardest decisions of my life, but in second place is Master Chen. I loved this character. He is such a comedian. And number one is the original Garmadon! You guys have probably been expecting this, but in first place is the OG Garmadon. He has to be the best villain. By the way, Ninjaku was just supposed to have two seasons, and Gromina was the overall villain, and even now, he'll be remembered as the villain who brought the series to life. Yeah, so I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!